What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we are going thrifting. I feel like a lot of you guys ended up liking when I do thrifting in like small chunks. Like sometimes I just go for a few minutes and end up showing you um, just a little bit in the thrift store or sometimes I don't even film in the thrift store and I just show you guys the haul. I figured I'd just break it down for you guys this. But before we get started on that, I just wanted to thank this sponsor for today's video, which is drum roll, -da 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 -da, dossier. You guys know I love dossier fragrances. I've been perfume obsessed for quite a while now and I always end up enjoying getting a new perfume from them. If you guys have never heard of Dossier, they are a fragrance brand that makes cruelty-free and vegan perfumes. And what's also really awesome about their company is they make inspired by scents of like some of the biggest, most well-known fragrances out there. So if you have a favorite niche or designer fragrance, I definitely recommend checking out their website to see if they have an inspired by fragrance or if there's one that you've been thinking about trying but you don't wanna spend all of the money. Dossier is great because all of their fragrances are between like 29 and 49. I'm usually very impressed by how close they get the Inspired by Fragrance to the original. So this month I ended up getting two new ones, one for me and one for Everett. I've been trying to expand Everett's Fragrance Cologne collection. Since I've been so obsessed lately, he's been kind of into it as well. So we've been sniffing all sorts of different colognes when we're at the mall or we're shopping around and then he remembers which ones he likes and then we order the Dossier versions. I'll show you his first. This is Aquatic Pineapple, which is a dupe or inspiration for YSL Y. This one has bergamot, ginger, pineapple, sage, juniper berry, amberwood, cedar. Very citrusy and summery daytime. This smells really good. You guys know me, I honestly like wearing men's fragrances as well. And this is one that I might wear or like mix with one of my fragrances. Mm, it's very good. It's very like crisp, clean, citrusy. Definitely smell the bergamot and pineapple. It's the perfect time to get kind of like a crisp citrusy scent since it's warmer weather right now. And then the one that I ended up picking up this month was a floral grapefruit. And this one is a dupe for Chanel Chance Entendre. I've previously ordered the dupe for Chanel Chance, but the Entendre one is really popular in the fragrance community. This one has grapefruit, pear, blackcurrant, jasmine, lilac, orris, musk, and amberwood. I would say that this one's a citrusy, fruity, but like slightly musky smell. I definitely smell the pear and the grapefruit. Clean girl aesthetic type smell. So I have been enjoying this one for the month of May. So you guys definitely check out Dossier. They have really high end fragrances for a really good price. You can bundle to get a little bit more cash off as well. Like I think the more that you buy two, three, four, they end up taking a little bit more money off. Sometimes even I like to just keep little backups of these. So if I forget anyone's birthday or there's anything that comes up that I need to give a gift to someone really quickly, I always have a little backup of a fragrance and I feel like it's such a nice gift. So definitely check out Dossier down below. I will link my link in the description box along with my code if you guys wanna save some money off. Get yourself or someone else in your life a special gift of fragrance. All right, you guys, let's head off to the thrift store and see what we end up finding today. All right, guys, I just got to Goodwill. I'm gonna be looking for a few housewares. Like, I think I wanna do some art projects, so I want like a bigger framed frame. There's a guy. <laughs> There's a guy in Goodwill sitting at the window looking out at with binoculars. He must be testing out the binoculars, but it feels like he's looking right at me. Hello, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be looking for some housewares and I do have some cute little things from my like wish list that I want. I'm looking for like tube tops, crochet, like workwear and cargo-y type pants and platform shoes. What else? Bright colored things. I feel like my wish list has been the same for like quite a few months now. Kind of the same kind of things that I've mentioned in the past. But hopefully we find some good stuff today. And I will try to look in the housewares as well. Ooh, trucker hats and bucket hats. Let's just look for some cute stuff. I'm looking for film cameras still. I have yet to find one that's less than like $100. Okay, this is the last thing on earth I need, but I love it. It's just from Shein. but I really like it. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> mm. Kind of like this too. Don't need sweaters. I like the colors of this though. 
Ooh, something else I'm looking for is non-denim shorts. I have so many denim shorts, but I'm looking for stuff kind of like more like this material or even like, you know, that kind of style. And I've also really been into skirts. So I hope they have some cute skirts over there, both mini and maxi. I really like these little cargo shorts. They're kind of almost like a canvasy kind of cotton material from St. John's Bay. Love the pockets, but they're too big for me. But those are very cute. I also spotted this little skirt. Sometimes you put skirts in the short section. There's a little white trucker hat. Five dollars? Maybe. All right, I found these fun little like pink Old Navy cargo looking pants, but they are low waist. I'm not sure about that, um, but we'll try them on. They might be cute. <laughs> but kind of like summery vibes. Ooh. I like this one, it's like beige snake print. New attacks. All right, you guys, I figured I'd show you guys my Goodwill finds of the day. I found these really cute birds of flight clogs and also these wooden sandals with a bunch of studs all over them. Next up, I found this plaid cropped like shacket. I thought it was pretty fun. And then also these super wide leg free people jeans. They're a little too long for me, so I'm going to chop the bottom off. But I thought they were such a unique find. The next up, I've been looking for cargos and I thought that pink was a cute color, but these ones were too big in the waist and I also did not love the length. I'm looking for full length cargos instead of capris. So these ones were a no-go. I also thought that this maxi skirt was really pretty on the hanger, but it just kind of clings to my belly right here. So I didn't end up getting it. It was also just kind of like, I don't know, not flattering, no-go. And then next up, I thought that the print of this skirt was really nice. It's kind of a snake print with a little bit of turquoise in there, but I don't like the length on my shin. I was either wanting a mini or like a full length maxi. So I ended up saying no to this one. And then this is the last skirt I found. It has this really fun, very high slit on the side and I ended up getting this one. And then I also found these fun, super worn in jeans. Love the square pocket in the front. Also love the square pockets in the back, but unfortunately they were just a little too loose on me. I also wish they were full length. So I said no to them. This was a fun little girly floral blouse right here. Very sheer and pretty. I liked it a lot, but I'm trying to be really picky with what I thrift. So I ended up putting it back. I also found these little crop tops that crisscross in the front here, but I didn't like the way they lay on my stomach. So I ended up putting them back as well. I also found the exact same shirt in black. I don't know, maybe it's just my body type or that I'm heavy chested that it just didn't look good. Next up was this cute little knit, ribbed knit, muted color striped little shirt. I was really going back and forth on this one, but ultimately put it back but kind of regretting it now. And then I also found this funky printed vest. I thought this one was really cute, but I could tell that the quality was not very good. So I didn't end up getting it, even though I loved the print. And then the last thing I ended up finding was this black knit tank top from the brand St. John, which is a very expensive brand, but I didn't really like it for myself. So hope someone else found it. All right, you guys, that's it. 
All right, guys, we are back from the thrift, and I just wanted to end up sharing you guys what I ended up getting today. I am so sorry that my camera died. When I left the house, it said I had three bars of battery, and as soon as I started filming there, my camera was dead. So I hope that the TikTok video at least showed you some of the things that I ended up finding and trying on, but maybe not buying, and I will show you guys the stuff that I did end up buying. First off, I found three little books. I've been really getting into books lately. First one is this one right here called Mind Games. It was $2.99 and it's just a silly little book that has all sorts of like funny things to read about the brain and like how to do different things, listening skills, how to read auras, creative risk taking. It's kind of like a little like bathroom book or like, you know, something that's like silly and lighthearted. And then the other one I ended up finding was this one right here. It's called Burning Man right there. And I just thought it was a really pretty artistic book about Burning Man. I've never been, but I've had a lot of friends that have gone and I just thought it looked really, really cool. It has like a bunch of matches there and some like dust. And it just shows different photos of Burning Man throughout the years. And I thought it would be a great coffee table book. Honestly, I even just like this art in the front there. And then the last book I ended up getting right here was The Midnight Library. I've heard that this is a great book. I've seen it at Target in places. I got this one for $2.99 as well. And I actually have this as an Audible. I subscribe to Audible. I love them. I hope to work with them one day because I really like their service. Um, but I do have this on Audible, but I've only listened to like one or two chapters. So I figured I'd just get the book as well in case I wanted to actually physically read it. Or sometimes I like to give books to people if I enjoy the book, but I can't give them my Audible book so I thought that I would grab it since it was such a good price. I showed this on the TikTok but I ended up getting this really beautiful kind of like um, hippie-ish little skirt right here and what I really loved about this skirt was that high slit on the leg and it was $4.99. I hope you guys can see here is the cute little kind of like hippy dippy little cotton skirt. I feel like the real selling factor on this one is just the high slit on the one side. I kind of imagine wearing it with a little crop top like this and maybe like a little crossbody bag. I feel like it's very beachy and something I would wear to maybe like a summer barbecue or even maybe over like a swimsuit for like a pool day or lake day or something like that. Yeah, absolutely love this one. Glad I got it. Really enjoy the print too. It's a very funky print. I don't know what you would call this, but I don't know. I really like it and I feel like it fits. It hits perfectly with the like crop top length. I go to Goodwill every Wednesday because I do my therapy on Wednesdays and then after therapy I go to Goodwill. <laughs> it's like my routine and I actually tried this on last week on Wednesday and I didn't end up getting it and I actually kind of regretted it so I was glad that it was still there. It's just this little gray pinstripe skirt right here. I've been kind of getting into pinstripe even making it more casual and not so like business attire so I thought I would probably pair this with maybe like a Harley Davidson shirt or some sort of like graphic shirt to kind of make it a little more casual and just wear it with a pair of sneakers. This one was $6, $5.99. All right, you guys, here is the gray little pinstripe Banana Republic skirt that I kind of wanted to make a little bit more casual. I just put on this really like sporty crop top oh, Adidas no. shirt. I feel like I'd wear this with a pair of like black or white Converse or just like sneakers, Vans, and like a little crossbody, maybe even like a nylon bag. A little less like businessy and a little bit more just like casual but I like the pinstriped. I like to do that with the pinstriped slacks as well. I have a pair of pinstripe slacks that I like to just make a little more casual. And then the last thing that I ended up getting today was those really fun wide leg uh, free people jeans. I felt like they were something that was just such a unique find that I would regret if I had to put them back. Kind of like that 70s style. And then they are so wide legged, you guys. Like they are huge, super fun. And since they already have a raw hem at the bottom and I'm short, I figure I will just cut about an inch off and see if that would work for me. They were $8 and I was excited. So hopefully I can make them look cute with a huge pair of like platform shoes. All right guys, here are the free people pants. As you guys can see, they're like parachute pants. They're super, super wide leg. They almost look like a maxi skirt. Like I said, they're a little long for me, so I definitely need to cut off at least maybe an inch and a half, probably off the bottom. But since they have the raw hem, that shouldn't be a problem. I think they'll look really, really cute 
with even just like a crop top like this, maybe a colorful one. And I would imagine wearing this to maybe like the farmer's market or in the summertime, we have these fun like street fairs where people set up like artsy booths and everyone just gets together and eats like street food. What are they called? Like taco truck type things. I think that they're really fun and crazy and I'm glad that I got them even though they are a little bit loose on me and a little long, we're gonna make them work. Are these called flares or Janko jeans or? What are these called? And that's everything that I ended up getting today, but I will definitely be thrifting again, so I'll check in with you guys next time I go thrifting. Hello, everybody. It's raining today, so you guys can see. It's just like a little drizzle. Got my whole backyard patio stuff all wet. <laughs> um, I am heading over to the little thrift store because I'm on a mission to find a film camera. I've been wanting to get a film camera for like six months now. And I know sometimes they have them at the thrift. If not, there's this one on eBay that I am looking at, but it's like 50 bucks. And I know it's a good one because I've kind of done my research of like what I'm looking for, like the style. Um, but I just want to see if there's a cheaper one at the thrift store for under $50. All right, let's see if there's anything in here today, if I don't get ran over. Okay, I found a little tankini, a little bathing suit cover up, and this is a tank top, but I'm hoping to wear it almost as like a dress because it's a longer size. Here's the swimsuit. I like that it's high-waisted. Um, I just folded this under, but I think I'll probably like crop it a little bit because it goes like really far down, and I like a little bit of like tummy action. So I'd probably like cut it a little bit and I could even wear it as a tank top on its own with shorts. A little bit more like modest for around families and stuff. It's only $2. Here's a little like cover up swim skirt. It has a side tie, it's just a little big for me. And it's a little bit longer than I would have liked. I would have liked it a little bit more like form fitting I think. So I'm gonna say no to this one, but it's cute. All right guys, I didn't find a camera unfortunately. And the only thing I got was this cute little like airy tank top. It's a size extra law, extra, it's a size extra large, but I'm gonna kind of wear it as like a dress um, with like, it's not fully long enough to be a dress, but I've been looking for like a white tank top dress and I want like a wife beater looking one but I'll just wear it with a skirt. I'll show you guys when we get home. But now I'm gonna go over this other thrift store, just like right around the corner and they're really affordable. This little thrift store is awesome. It's all volunteers and it helps our local fire department and it's always super cheap. Okay, I found this little Maui shirt in the little boy section. And then these vintage Gap jeans that are like kind of a loose fit, very comfortable. This little red shirt and a bathing suit top. Here's the little maroon tank top. I like this too. All right, you guys, we're back to show you the haul from when I went thrifting at my little local small mom and pop shops. I did end up getting the cute little boys Maui shirt right here, and I actually ended up chopping it. I saw a different girl on TikTok that uh, said that she likes to cut all of her graphic tees in this way. She chops the bottom off and then she cuts the neck kind of right here. So she said that when you wash it, it kind of like flops open like this and just naturally starts rolling at the cut areas. All of their kids clothes, I think is 99 cents unless otherwise marked. So I'm pretty sure that this was 99 cents. And I also did end up getting the long sleeve maroon shirt. This was also in the kids section, even though it's not a kid's shirt. I ended up picking up the white airy extra large shirt right here. It's kind of like a tank. I'm not sure if it'll look cute without trying it on, but um, we'll do the try on for you and see if it's what I was imagining. And this one was $4, but it was half off day. So I got it for $2. And then I also ended up finding these Gap blue jeans. I was very excited to find these because of just like the wear and tear. You guys, know, you guys know I love a good worn in denim jean. Like the longer and more worn in they are, I feel like just the more I like them. So they are Gap right there. Just such a pretty wash. They have a bit of wear on like the edges and like the zipper. They are a little bit loose on me and they're definitely like that 90s jean style. So I think that they're a vintage Gap 
and I really like their just like loose, comfortable fitting fit to them. And these ones were $3. Here is the little kid's Maui shirt that I cut. I'm hoping once I wash it, it kind of like naturally does this a little bit more, but I like the length I cut it at too. Obviously paired it with the Gap jeans. I like that the top is a little bit tighter and then the jeans are kind of loose. I'd probably wear this with like my little Birkenstock knockoffs, or even if I had like Birkenstock clogs, that would really be, that would be really cute. The pants are a little long, so I do have to cuff them at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. They are cuffed. Here is the vintage Gap denim jeans with the maroon top. Like I said, I just kind of like the looser on bottom, tighter on top look or vice versa, looser on top and then like a tighter skirt or like tighter pants on bottom. And yeah, very cute, comfortable, super basic outfit. All right guys, and then here is the long white kind of like tank toppy shirt. I see what I want. Like I want a white tank top dress. I instead paired it with this little jean skirt underneath, but it just looks kind of like it clings to the skirt. So I might end up chopping this one into a crop top because I'm not loving it. So I don't know. Eh. All right, you guys. And then for the last day that I went thrifting while I was out and about, I didn't film. I wasn't actually expecting to go thrifting. It just kind of like happened. I had some time to kill, so I didn't have my camera and I didn't film on my phone for some reason, but I got all sorts of good stuff. I was actually looking for Everett's to get a new um, laptop case and I ended up finding a Tumi one for him, which was such a nice brand and his other laptop case was like just ripped to shreds. So when I found a Tumi for $30 in amazing condition, he ended up getting that and so hopefully he's happy with that. So happy. <laughs> so I found this super cute little uh, bikini skirt. How cute is this, you guys? It's like aqua blue crochet with this little tie in the front. Really easy to throw over a swimsuit and I love it so much. I think it's just adorable and I like that it's adjustable. It's from the brand Venus. I think that this was like maybe $3 and it's just this race car DuPont uh, shirt. I don't know what that signature says. Jeff Gordon, right? Does that say Jeff Gordon? Anyways, yeah, it's just this graphic on the front and back. I love that it's oversized from the men's section. I know that these were popular a few years ago and I don't know if they're popular anymore, but I still like the shirt and I think that the graphics are kind of like fun and funky. Even if it was something just to lounge around the house in or to like walk my dogs around the block. I like wearing like big oversized stuff like this. Or in the summertime when it's really hot and I don't want like, you know, I just want like a flowy airy shirt. I like those. These were from the kids section and they were $8, which I do think is a little bit expensive for the kids section, but they're Carhartts and I've been really into the construction worker or like workwear, cargo-y, like painters, overalls, like anything like that that kind of has like a, I don't know, skater boy kind of vibes. So I saw these in the kids section and since I'm 5'2", they fit lengthwise. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, um, I did end up getting these super cute wooden clog shoes right here. I don't know what the brand is because they just say Bryant on the side. And these are a little bit small for me, but I could just like not leave them behind. I've been really into the wooden shoes lately. All right guys, here is the Jeff Gordon racer shirt. It's super big, super wide. Very like comfy and slouchy though, so I really like it. I probably wear it with uh, biker shorts too, but for the sake of the try on, I put it on with the little boys Carhartts. I do kind of wish that these Carhartts were a little more high-waisted, but since they're children's, you know. Pockets, and the little emblem there. They are like right at my ankle, so if they were any uh, shorter, I feel like they'd be floods, but I think that maybe with like a pair of my high top white converse. I feel like I'd wear this with like a trucker hat and I like it. Last thing I ended up picking up was another book. 
I've seen this book and heard a lot of good things about it as well. It's called The Vanishing Half and I love finding books that are kind of like newer or really popular at like Target and places, Girls Online and finding them at the thrift store. I think I got this for just like a few dollars, one or two bucks. So I have lots of new books, lots of new fun clothes and very excited. Let me know if you guys like these kind of like shorter thrifts where I do a little bit of thrifting at a bunch of different thrift stores instead of doing one huge long thrift with me and then one huge long haul. Thank you again so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check them out. Let me know down below too if you tried them and if you like them, if you've ordered from them, what you've ordered. I always like trying out the new ones and ones that I don't have yet. So let me know if you guys have any new ones that I should try. Thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys very very soon in my next video. Bye! Bye bye bye!